Hey you, so on this video, does silica gel and tarnish strips work as preventative measures? I wanted to go over a video that I've already done in the past and that was a video displaying some preventative measures for your um, Queen's Beast coins at the time but it was really for any high premium coins that you had and collect the coin so straight off the bat I want to mention this is really going to only apply to individuals that have collector coins that they really want to help preserve if you're into stacking weight or just spot then this won't apply to you but for any individual that has a collector coin or any type of coin that they may have that they wanted to keep in especially silver as good a condition as possible these were some of the only measures available as stackers now these measures were came up through stackers from what i understand no dealers was telling individuals hey look and use some silica gel i mean silica gel is used and done near everything and its purpose is to you know keep the moisture out of the air so individuals believed that um when your coins came in contact with the air or moisture in general it would create the milk spots now from what i understand now that's not the case i understand when the coins are made it's from the residue of the cleaning agent they use so it can be baked into the actual coin so basically there's absolutely nothing you can really do about it that's a silica gel pack there and this is a tarnish strip but you know um stackers in general came up with these means through bumping heads or just you know hearsay and that was basically using the gel packs would do good towards some type of, you know, individuals to swear by it. But I'll tell you now, as I did on the video when I done it, that by no means are these measures 100% successful or will 100% work. It is the only means available to individuals out there if you have high premium coins and you want to take any form of measures to you know just preserve the condition or do anything possible now i said that when i done the video now i've been getting a lot of questions regarding whether these work from individuals either contacting me or leaving on that exact video now it was interesting really we're going through holiday time at the moment so i've got a lot of free time you know with the kids and the family out today and i've been able to go over this monster box that i displayed at the time and really fully go over it and compare it against the tube of Queen's Beast coins that I have that I keep where I do the videos and this is just so that you know a tube that I've had just for coins I display in the background when I got through doing a lot of trades and the first thing I, I noticed was that how the lion coins now on this tube here that I've had I'd say for down there six months now no measures were put into these because there was always at arm's reach and I'd pull on them and I wanted to display some coins in the background I've literally had them sitting in the cupboard in the tube with no gel pack or tarnish strips and I'm sure you can see that straight off the bat on the dragon there they've all well these coins here form some type of discoloration now I don't know what that is I think it's a milk spot but even if you look around the room itself even though it's in a dirtier case straight off the bat I would say the lion coins really look lustrous. They just look new and fresh. I mean, individuals have contacted me and asked how it done. Then I was only able to give an instant response from the last time I saw the coins. And that was a 50-50 to be on the safe side. I know they would be doing their job. But once compared against, you know, coins I bought or got way after I got these tubes here, I would now easily say for me, and if I'm answering the question I'm putting out there, the tarnish tabs have worked down near, I would say, 95%. Now, I've gone over each tube of the lines here. I'm going to go over a few. I won't be able to go over all of them. But I would easily say they've done their job 95%. Now, with the silica gel pack, it has also played a role. Now, vac packing is an option for individuals to also take. So that would be like a triple threat right there where you're putting in a tarnish strip, a silica gel pad, and maybe even these tubes, and then vac pack it. It's all on the individual. I choose not to do that because I keep them in the tubes and in the boxes. And, you know, it just would be a bit too much hassle for me. I thought it would have been semi-overkill, but by no means is it. It's your money and your, you know, product or asset. You do with it as you see fit. But just taking a typical look here, this is the kind of stuff I've been noticing on. I've got a few of these tubes on the ones that have just been sitting out here. And, you know, on these Queen's Beast coins, and now I want to mention that the lens is going to be picking up things that my eye won't. So if you see a milk spot blatantly sitting in front of you and I don't see it, don't think, hey, Shadow, are you blind? But on these coins, you're always going to see some type of milky, like, 
milk spot on the sides. But then once you get into the actual coin, shout out to Ikea as those coins cling together. They all have some form of discoloration if you can see them. And I realised that whereas when I went over the lions, they looked new, they looked fresh. And I don't know if that's just the field of this specific coin, but I also have um, a unicorn here, another one that's been sitting in the tube just as is, and I'm not sure you can see that, but the lion looks a lot fresher. Now the lion, once again, has been sitting in the tube with the measures and it just looks a lot more fresher. So once again, if I was saying if the tarnish strip done its job, giving it a rating, I would say easily 95%. Now when it comes to the gel pack, I'd say it's definitely done something. Whereas I was saying 50-50 before, I would easily say 75%. By no means, no. I don't believe it's going to 100% stop milk spotting, but the milk spots have been to a bare minimum on the Lion coin. So I will put it out there. And I can only give my own results and findings, and this is why this video is done, to obviously find out what other individual results have been. But if you're asking me right now, how well did it do? And I seem to be getting that question a lot. I would say it done pretty darn well, especially of really going over these coins now. Once again, on the side, you see the usual like milking on the side. But once you go over these coins, they just look fresh, real lustrous and sparkling. Whereas the others have somewhat of a dull to them now. I believe this is a unicorn we've got there. So I would say, by all means, definitely go ahead and do this. It will keep some type of gleam to your coins. Now, another question I'm always getting regarding milk spots is what I feel about the three nines versus four nines. And I'll be going over and answering this as I display some of these here. Now, for me, the way I see it, I can't give no big technical answer is I don't see there being a big difference when we're talking three nines versus four nines. And I'll say it purely because if the fix was that simple, and this is the way I see it, if the fix was as simple as just, you know, um, less diluting of the metal, i.e. making it four nines, and we solved the milk spot problem, I think all mints would have jumped on that. Now, and that's the only way I view it. So when I'm asked, do I feel like four nines is better than three nines in terms of milk spot prevention, I would say no. You know, you've got someone like, and this is causing the mints a problem. They are aware of it. They're just not addressing it because they're able to still push the product. But, you know, if you could imagine Perth Mint saying, hey guys, we just took all our coins up to four nines and we wouldn't get no milk spots or maybe even drop it to 925. You know, there's a reason why they haven't done that, but it would be a real simple solution if that was the case. So I don't think the content, the metal content, whether it's three or fours goes towards, you know, preventing the milk spots. You've got um, Royal Canadian Mint now making a bold claim that they've found a way to, they've addressed it. With them being the worst offenders have put out there that they now have coins that won't suffer from milk spots. And so with a lot of these other ones, I have these measures put down in the bottom there. But, you know, it's t time will tell, especially with the Royal Canadian Mint. But it's been real interesting to really go over these coins. And I was able to pick them up for individuals that don't know. A lot of people in my private life, or well, damn near everybody's friends and family, don't know that I do these videos. And damn near only close members know that I stack metals. So it's real strange when I'm going to pick up some of these metals and they can't really understand why. But you know, so it's just a thing where I need more time to really go over them. And this is the first time I was meant to be getting over these a long time ago to check whether I had any really good conditions one to maybe send in for grading. But I would say I damn near got over doing that now. But I've been real, real surprised at how well and how fresh they look, the lines in comparison to the ones that have just been sitting around in a tube. By all means, yes, they have been sealed up also, so it's not like they've been sitting there just doing nothing. I can see the inside of the tube, I know it does look a little dusty, but I don't think that's even played a big role. So putting the answer out to the question, I would say yes, they, it has worked. If you was asking about the silica gel pads, I would say in terms of just keeping the coin looking fresh and lustrous, it's easily done a 75% job. With the tarnish strips, I found no discoloration on the lions, this pack that I've had. And these were the first Queen's Beast coins I've got. The fact that they look a lot better than, you know, a few of these other ones that I got a lot later really says a lot. But it's all on the individual, as I've said once before. For the tarnish strips, there is a, a proven point out there. 
for them to be able to prevent tarnish. But the silica gel pads is just a method that was put out there for individuals that wanted to take the only forms of preventative measures, not 100%. And it's going to be all down to each individual's case but for me they've done a fantastic job i'm really happy of how well the, these lines look i mean they look fantastic very very lustrous as i keep on repeating but it'd be fantastic to know what measures you guys have taken and how well i've done i've had individuals contact me and you know they've used fat packages and then only gone on to see that their coins milk spoiled so you know it, uh, as i mentioned the coin is going to milk spot sorry it's just going to milk spot there's not a lot you can do but will these means slow it down i believe so and you know will it keep the coin looking pristine i definitely believe so so it is something that you may want to take up if you ain't you know don't write off thinking it's all hogwash because it is definitely doing something and i'm comparing it against a tube of queen's beast coins that i've had just sitting in the tube so hey all love it guys it'd be fantastic to know what you guys think of this video go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already don't forget to come and follow me on the links that i've left in the description and i'll catch you guys in the rebound